Hello, this is how to install the XRDP RDP server on OpenSUSE. I have a fresh installation of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I'm using the KD Plasma desktop. Let's close the welcome application. This is my wiki page in mariusp.github.io. In, in here I have installation instructions for the XRDP RDP server for Linux and FreeBSD. These are the instructions for OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Hopefully they're still up to date. So let's do exactly what said in here. So we need to install XRDP and XORG XRDP. says password for root but I needed to enter the password of the user administrator. So zipper install xrdp XR, org xrdp continue yes So to RPM packages, XRDP and XORG XRDP, I always install them both. I have never needed to install just one or the other. They come as, a, as two twins. And then we'll need to enable the systemd service. System CTL. We want to enable the service XRDP immediately. And this means that when we restart the machine, the service will be running. And right now, also the service will be running. There is this limitation in XRDP that uh, you want to be logged out of the computer when you want to connect to the computer via X or XRDP. So we'll log out. So I'm not connected to the OpenSUSE machine in any way in graphical user interface mode. You can connect via SSH if you want, but not in graphical user interface mode. And then, because um, I'm uh, using a Linux operating system, which is Kubuntu 2404, the machine from where I'm connecting to the OpenSUSE computer, I will use the package FreeRDP, which has two executables, WL FreeRDP for Wayland, and I'm running X11, so X FreeRDP is for me. So this command line. I'm running it from the terminal. And let's get the IPv4 address of the open source machine so it ends with 241 let's look at the command line so one of the two executables wl freerdp or x freerdp the user the resolution width and height the IPv4 address of the computer that we're connecting to, where the XRDP RDP server is running, and then the best possible features of the RDP protocol, and the best possible speed, because uh, this is a virtual machine running on my computer, so I can use um, the speed network LAN, which means lo local area network. And then I want the sound to be taken from the open source machine and put on the Ubuntu 2404 machine. Okay, so um, it has failed to connect to the 
KD Plasma session. I'll um, find a workaround and I'll be back. So it connected to another uh, XORG um, configuration, not the KD Plasma 6 X11 session. Let's see the list of processes that we're currently running. So it's XRDP, Sesman, and XRDP, Sesman, and it's using XVNC. No window manager, just a extern. So there's no, the window is not resizable, there's no window title bar, because there's no window manager. In the configuration file for XRDP server slash Etsy slash XRDP slash XRDP dot INI, there's multiple session types. There's XVNC. VNC is the protocol for remote graphical user interface um, communication. And then there's also XORG. This is what we actually want XORG, not XVNC. And for some reason, XVNC is the first in this combo box. And it totally should be XORG the first entry, because people will, uh, by accident, use the wrong session. So we always want XORG when both uh, RPM packages are installed, XRPM and uh, XORG XRPM. Let's see now. And we're back to the same spot. But now the process is xorg.bin instead of um, xvnc. So there's a bit of progress there. I uh, remembered of the start plus minus x11 executable. I wrote start, pressed tab twice, or just once. And I can see the name start plasma x11. Let's see if uh, this is enough as a workaround. So each time you connect via XRDP, you can just write a command. There's not uh, such a big problem. And now we have a window manager and the window manager is queen. And maybe we cannot close this. Uh, Thing. Yes, we cannot. Okay, so as a workaround, you could, every time you connect to VNC, start the that executable. And now it forgot that I want XORG. You cannot actually close this extern because uh, the XORG session has started just one process, which is XTERM, which has started PASH. And from there, we have started Star Plasma X11, which has then started Queen, etc. So all of that is a process tree. And if you close the parent process, any of the parent processes, the KD Plasma session will um, disappear. But otherwise, it's what we would expect is the um, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed KD Plasma look. There's two virtual terminals, desktops, a ton of applications pre installed, KD Games, uh, LibreOffice, Ocular, Firefox. VLC player, the KD personal information suit for emailing, system setting, and the open source configuration tools such as Yast, Info Center, System Monitor, Dolphin, Console, maybe also Kate, yes. 
all of the applications that I actually use are already installed in here. Almost all of them. Okay. I'll um, figure out how we can have the KD Plasma session start automatically when we connect via RDP such that we do not have to type star plasma minus X11 each time we connect. I have managed to configure X RDP to start KD Plasma by default. The fix was to create in my home directory a file.xinitrc and the content is just uh, star plasma min minus x11. So this is how I did it. I connected to the virtual machine using SSH, but you can also connect uh, with uh, the graphical user interface mode. And then I uh, started the text or nano, told it to create the .x init rc file. This file did not exist because this is, this is just a fresh from scratch install of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I put inside um, the name of the executable start plasma minus x11 a trailing new line. I saved control x and now I can connect using the same long command line with x3rdp. I make sure to select xorg in here in the session combo box. And that's it. We have connected correctly to the OpenSUSE machine using the remote desktop protocol, the protocol from Microsoft. The server is running on the OpenSUSE machine, it's called XRDP. And the client, um, because I'm connecting from a Linux machine, I'm using X3RDP. If you're connecting to a macOS machine, you can use the Microsoft Remote Desktop client application. If you're connecting from Windows, you can use the Windows built-in Remote Desktop protocol client application or you can use the even better application from Microsoft, Sysinternals Remote Desktop Connection Manager, RDC Man. So that's it. Everything works. Everything is really, really snappy. For me, it's better to connect to a virtual machine using the RDP protocol then it is to actually use um, the graphical console of the, virtual the virtualization software, such as this window for Word Manager. There's equivalence for the other virtualization software applications, such as Oracle VM VirtualBox or the Microsoft Hyper-V or one of the VMware applications. This application, if I resize the window, will not resize the KD Plasma desktop and also copy paste of text does not work. Whereas in here, I get copy paste to work and whenever I resize the window, the KDE Plasma desktop will also resize. We can see that in here. You can see this strange resolution, 1280 by 662. And as I resize the XVRDP window, the resolution of KDE Plasma will keep changing. And copy paste of text works. Is it favorites, Kate? Show welcome page, close welcome page, paste. Paste works in one direction. And it also works from the RDP server towards the RDP client. I could um, use the web browser just on the 
RDP client machine, so on Kubuntu 24.04 in my case. There's not really a reason for me to start the web browser in the OpenSUSE machine in this case. Because copy paste of text works and maybe I have a better configured web browser on my day-to-day -day daily driver computer. And uh, let's also look at the YouTube video playback performance because again we have enabled all of the possible features of the RDP protocol. So this should also be possible. So this is YouTube playback, Big Buck Bunny, the current resolution is 360, let's go up one notch, now it's 480. Uh, pretty a pretty incredible performance from a virtual machine plus a RDP remote desktop protocol connection. So this is it. This is how you install the XRDP RDP remote desktop protocol server on a OpenSUSE tumble with computer. You need to install two RPM packages, XRDP, XORG, XRDP. Enable the XRDP service using the systemctl command line tool. And then additionally, now you have to create, make sure that the current user that you're using on the open source machine as in its home directory, a configuration file named .xinitrc with uh, this content start plus one minus x11. So this is a further, further loop that you need to go through because um, the OpenSUSE experience for XRDP is not yet great. Maybe all of these will get fixed over time. For instance, the Debian packages don't require that you enable the XRDP server service. It's enabled by default. So that's an additional step that you need to do on OpenSUSE that you do not need to do on Debian, family of Linux operating systems. And also, um, Probably there's some misconfiguration in the um, XRDP source code or in the XRDP RPM because it ignores the current selection from um, the desktop manager SDDM, which is KD Plasma X11 session. And this uh, configuration is correctly picked up on other operating systems such as Fedora and the Debian Ubuntu family of Linux operating systems. Thank you.